Hello everyone, this is João and welcome to João's Lab where today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be reviewing a molecular kit. This molecular kit here, which is, I'm showing it the wrong way. This is the Novi molecular, the old Novi, not the new one, the old Novi molecular kit. This was gifted to me on Christmas and I only had a chance to look at it now so you can see that i'm a very i'm an ungrateful person let's just say because i'm gifted this and then i wait all this time until i open the box but i wanted to actually do it with you guys here on a video where i get to explore this kit with you so this was an opportunity to do so the first thing that i see here on this kit is that it is an inspiration through science you can see that science always inspires you and it does to me so one of the things that we see here is that it has 239 pieces so that's good i use i remember then when i use these kits in organic chemistry I used to have these really crappy uh, molecular kits that were easily breakable they look like those uh, plasticky sticks that you would just attach to like these weird shaped balls or that were supposed to be atoms and it, it it just didn't work very well so I think this one looks to be a nice improvement from what I see here uh, on the box another cool thing about this is that it comes with a guide so it includes this nice guide that I'm going to look at it with you all and I have to say a guide is really nice because for myself that even though I went through organic chemistry chemistry biochemistry in college one of the things that I'm a little bit rusty on is chemistry because I deal with anatomy every day so chemistry is always good to have some sort of review so this is nice to kind of guide you through making these different molecules. If we look at the back, you can see here two happy people looking at the different molecules and you see the list of atoms that they include. A cool thing here I can see is that they include the most important atoms, I would say hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and so on. So this is pretty good so far. So just going to open this, you can see that I had an attempt at opening it during Christmas, but I didn't follow through the entire thing because I wanted to do the full exploration here with you guys. So let me turn it this way so you can properly see the box. And you can see that right here we have a nice box that you can see and the guide that we were just talking about. I believe this is the guide. Oh yes, I think you can see some molecules that you can try and create using this kit. Now it's time for us to dig in and open the box. One quick note here on the box is that if you want to join the conversation, apparently they have a Facebook page and also an email that you can contact maybe if you have questions about the kit. So that's interesting. So let's open and you can see, ta-da, this is our kit. It has a note here which says we are a small growing business and love developing educational learning toys for kids. Knowing the importance of kids learning and having great products, we have got your back. So I am a kid at heart, so I think this kit is good for me. Lately I've been into a lot of these science toys, so when I was gifted this kit I was really happy because it looked really good and it seems to look good actually. I'm just opening it, I can see that the material seems to be quite good. Let me open this one here. You can see different balls here, or almost balls here, They with some holes that you can then add here the connections or the bonds. And you can see that they have different colors and also different shapes, as you can see here. I mean, different sizes. Have here the smaller, white one and also this red one which let me go back to the kit i need to see which one is this so this one here is hydrogen and these ones are then carbon 
and uh, the blue ones are nitrogen. So let me open these ones too. These, I believe, are going to be then the yellow ones are going to be the sulfur. So we have sulfur here. And then we have here the chlorine. As you can see, the green ones are chlorine. And we also have other colors, as you can see, that you can try. Then we have this package here. This package is essentially, let me do like makeup beauty gurus. Okay, this is the package with all the bonds, as you can see. And in this package, you can see that we have different types of bonds, some larger bonds or longer bonds for those atoms that are not as close together. You also have shorter bonds, as you can see, and these adapters. So let's open this up and you can see here that we have some smaller bonds and some large ones. So far, I have to say I am impressed with this kit because you can see the quality is pretty good. Uh, you are not dealing with crappy materials here, so I definitely recommend looking into this one so far. But let me see how it works in terms of creating the actual molecules. So as I was looking at these different molecules that I could try out today, there are a couple that I think we should try today. We're going to try this one, ethane. And I also want to try here ethene with these different types of bonds. And we're going to experiment how these connect and how easy it is to work and play with this molecular kit. For ethane, we need two carbon atoms. So we have two here and I need to get then six hydrogens. So let me grab here these. So we need a few more to make six hydrogens. I believe we're going to be using these here, these smaller bonds, as you can see here, to then connect the carbon atoms to the hydrogen atoms. So let's try to do this. One carbon atom that will then, let's try to connect these here. Okay, pretty easy to connect. And then connect to one here on a hydrogen. And an interesting point here, as you can see, uh, these balls have different holes and the carbon specifically has one, two, three, four, four holes, which means that carbon is able to create four bonds and hydrogen usually is able to create one bond here. So now what we're going to be doing is adding more of these bonds here. So I need to add one bond to another carbon atom. And here we go. And then we're going to be adding another hydrogen here. So let's add our hydrogen here. So we have two hydrogen. We need another one here. So there are four bonds, four covalent bonds happening here. So one uh, carbon connect to other three hydrogen and one uh, covalent bond here happening between uh, the two carbon atoms. Then we're going to do the same thing for the other side, but I need more of the smaller bonds. So now we're able to add the remaining, the remaining hydrogens. So I need at least three more of these bonds. And then I'm going to add the carbon, the hydrogen. As you can see, hydrogen atoms. And there you go. We have, as you can see here, if we compare with our guide, you can see here that our ethane is complete. This was super easy to make, super easy and fun to make. I mean, I think this molecular kit so far is doing its job so i'm really happy with it and just one clear clarification i'm not being sponsored by uh, this company i'm just really reviewing the product because i'm interested in these types of products and i wanted to share what my thoughts with you guys don't forget to like this video and also subscribe because it's a good way for us to form a covalent bond and stay connected so the next time I publish a video, you're going to be able to be notified 
and watch it. The next molecule that I'm going to be producing using this molecular kit is going to be then ethene. And for that, as you can see here on the guide, we will be needing two carbon atoms and we're going to be needing four hydrogens. So let's get those atoms. First, the four hydrogens, as you can see, and then I'm going to get two carbons right now. In terms of bonds, we're going to be needing two types of bonds. We're going to be needing these that we used before, these smaller bonds, and also these here that have some sort of different shape, a curved shape, I would say. So let's try and find them here in our bag. Okay, I'm trying to find these curved bonds, but apparently these are the bonds that I'm going to be using as the curved bond. So, okay, this is interesting. I'm going to try to use those and bend so they can have this curved shape as we see in the guide. So first thing I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to grab my carbon here and I'm going to be connecting to this other carbon and hopefully use those two other types of bonds to then bend and create that curved shape. So first bending here or connecting here to the carbon. It's pretty easy to do this, I have to say. So, and then you connect this one here to the other carbon. Easy to connect these structures. So now you will be connecting, I believe to one on this side and do something like this. Okay, see how cool it is. It bends quite nicely and you have these curved shape bonds. Now you're then ready to add uh, two hydrogens to each carbon. You can see that there are two holes left. So let's do one here and another hydrogen here. And same thing on the other side. And there you go. One hydrogen and the last one. And you have ethene ready. I'm going to show you the results here, the two molecules that I just created today. Overall, I have to say I am pretty impressed with this kit. It's very simple, but very right. It has good quality. The, the material, you can see that it has a higher uh, quality than the normal kits that you see, the other kits that you see out there. So even for a kid's toy, science toy, this is pretty good, but I would even recommend using this if you're in high school, maybe in your college years when you're going through organic chemistry or chemistry, this could be a nice, nice thing to have next to you as you go through these molecules and to play around with these structures and really understand how these bonds are formed and how the, the actual molecules look like. So pretty good. This is a thumbs up for me. If you guys want to check it out, I'll try to leave a link below. And this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this different type of video where I just review one science related product. I might do another video if you're interested, thumbs up. So I know that you guys like these types of videos. I would like to maybe do it on, on books, for example, because I use a lot of books, especially technical books for science that I can go over them on this channel. And if you have any questions, let me know on the comments below, the comment section below. And I hope I see you on the next video.